What's up, God? I'm kind of debating on whether I want to keep saying what's up, God, instead of what's up, Twin Flame, because this is definitely a Twin Flame reading. For those on a Twin Flame journey, to become one with the dualities of yourself. I want to try this. Um, It's like a pumpkin pie, a pumpkin apple pie. Wait, they gave me apple pie and I asked for a pumpkin. Man, I thought I was about to try something new. It says baked pie, but it says apple on here. But it smells like pumpkin. It is pumpkin. Anyway, from McDonald's, I'm going to try it. Have you guys tried it? Anyway, so let me get started on this reading. Never mind the cards here. I did a reading for myself um, earlier. And I want to keep the energy of that reading going. Because it's inspiring. And I need the inspiration to remind myself. I want to keep myself reminded of the inspiration that I got in that reading. It's been tough. It's been a tough since the summer. So I got to keep myself in positive energy. I know I've been blessed too, but I need to, because I'm not, I don't, I haven't been smoking like marijuana or anything. So I have to be very protective of my energy. So I'm going to keep that reading there just in case I need to be reminded as I'm writing my book. Oh, <laughs> computer froze. Anyway, okay. So we're going to do a quick reading to check on the Twin Flames to see where you are in your journey, see what we can expect. Today is Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Day of the Dead. Um, I'll pull some Angels and Ancestors cards and we will go from there. Might pull a numerological message as well. <clears throat> to see what message we get. Now this journey is, hasn't been easy. I was just telling myself about my spiritual journey in particular over the past four years. I've made a lot of mistakes, you know. I've taken leaps of faith when, you know, I've, I've done things that did not work out in my favor, it seems. But I gave myself permission to do the wrong things. I have forgiven myself for all the things that I've done in the past that didn't work or even the recent past. You know, I think about how my life could be had I not made those mistakes and... But I just remind myself, my spirit reminded me that everything is going as planned. So intent and create is what we got. High priest. Be fearless and stand strong. Warrior. And bottom of the deck, shed old skin. I know exactly what this is saying. It's time to leave the old life behind. It's Mercury retrograde. <clears throat> Lots of people just give bad vibes and energy towards retrogrades. And that's not that's not the energy I'm getting this retrograde. This retrograde, I'm getting that we're leaving the past behind and we're focused on our future. Things are meant we're, you're, we're remaining strong and fearless and, and remaining in faith as we intend and create. As this is for people who are creators, people who are writers, people who are bloggers, people who are Whatever it is, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, those that are creating. So, Spirit is saying, intend and create, remain strong and fearless. Know that everything is going to be okay because we're leaving the old life behind. We're, we're removing ourselves from the old, old feelings, old behaviors, old thoughts, old lives, and it's time for the new. As you can see from my reading earlier, it's like telling me I needed to ignite my passion again and and because it's time for rebirth. And the passion I had in the beginning of my spiritual journey, I need to ignite that again and because judgment day is here for me. And that's resurrection. And you know, the spiritual journey is the blueprint to the spiritual pathway to success. It's like the Yeshua blueprint. When Jesus said, Leave you know, follow me. And I forgot who he told this to, but it's like, let the dead bury their dead and follow me. It's like leaving behind the old, leaving behind your family, leaving behind people who may not understand your journey and just following the spiritual pathway to success, following Jesus Christ, the blueprint, meaning like, you know, just following your spirit, your whatever it is in your spirit that it's time for you to take that leap of faith. For me, that means leaving my job. It's almost a three year anniversary for me leaving my job. And it was a good job, federal job. It was leaving the state that I was in. It was leaving my ex-husband. It was, 
it was leaving everything and just pursuing my goals and pursuing the spiritual pathway to success. That's where I birthed like four or five of my books, but I'm on my fifth published book now. And spirit is telling me, ignite that fire that you once had in the beginning of your journey because it's time for rebirth. So I really believe that this, this Mercury retrograde period is going to birth a lot of people. Is going to bring them back a whole new person and we're releasing ourselves from the past and, and we're intending and recreating remaining strong and fearless and having faith and it's birthing us in and bringing us into a more prosperous and abundant future more life which is what the twin flame journey is about if you look on Netflix it's like a series about a twin I forgot what it's called, something twin or something. But it's death. It's about divine masculine and feminine energy. And the when when he comes one with his clone, or his clone is a much better version of him. So it's becoming the better version of yourself to live in your highest potential. So that's the faith we're gonna hold on to. Being the best version of ourselves, following the, the blueprint that set that was set for us by the Bible and Jesus Christ, or whatever you follow, Buddha. Um, it's a lot of a lot of spiritual beings that set a blueprint for us to follow, seeking that spirituality, becoming the highest version of ourselves. <coughs> Sorry, my ancestors led me to Kabbalah and the Jesus Christ blueprint, which is following the spirit inside of you, following that voice inside of you, to and serving going through things that remove yourself of the ego, becoming one with your high self, awakening to your spiritual gifts, using them to heal others, and resurrecting to a new life, more abundant life. Okay, so let's pull some tarot and see what tarot messages we get with this reading. I was this close to quitting YouTube. This close. Matter of fact, I was closer than that. I was this almost touching. This close to quitting YouTube and spirit told me not to. So, I'll keep going. I'll work harder. When I finish this book in a, in a day or two, I'll work harder. Okay, so. Hope you guys' days are going well. And your little kitties have looking, are, are looking amazing for the day of the day. Listen! Intent create high priest here, the empress here. And you know the empress is about creation. It's time. See, look, I gotta stop bullshitting. As soon as I gotta get to this reading, I took some pills. Some it's like an active pack from GNC that I had. Cause I really need the energy to put that fire back inside of me to finish this project. Because to finish this book, because listen, it is time to create. Look at this. The Empress. It's like it's definitely time for us to create those projects. Whatever ideas we have, it's time to put it out there. Because new beginnings. It is time for new beginnings. Spirit wants to give us a coin. And I want all my coins. I want, you know, it's just not about money. You know, um, it's about <clears throat> purpose. Living a purposeful life in the highest vibration and abundantly in financial freedom having the freedom to travel, having the freedom to lead. It's like in order to be a leader, you have to have your needs taken care of and your wants taken care of as well to put you in a place where you can give to others because you're abundant alone. You're so abundant that your cup runneth over and you can use that overflow to pour into others because pouring into others while on the spiritual pathway is depleting you. That's why you have to die and rebirth. You need to re-energize and, re and begin again. And we're using that energy and we're using that faith to create. The moon. Hmm. And I want to put these together because this is on the bottom. So, out of the blue, in a, like, I read a card today. It's like once in a blue moon. And I'm getting this energy here. It's like once in a blue moon, a miracle happens. And out of the blue, a miracle happens. So even when we create this project, we don't know how it's going to happen, why it's going to happen. We know why it's the spiritual path, but we don't know how it's going to happen. But when we create these projects, out of the blue, we're going to get a blessing, a breakthrough. Out of the blue, something's going to happen that resurrects us, that, that sheds us from the old and opens the door from the new, opens the door for a new abundant life. 
doing this? Why do my cars keep falling? Like, and they're not falling on the left, they're falling on the floor. <clears throat> Listen, didn't I just say that? Ace of Pentacles. Out of the blue, the Ace of Pentacles is going to come and change our life. And that's what our gardens are going to look like. It's good. And that's what our lives look like. Fruitful, abundant, liberating. It's like you really have nothing to worry about. This out of, out of the blue could be in, in 30 minutes. This out of the blue can be you taking a nap or waking up to a blessing like I did with my house. This out of the blue is just going to bless us and take us away from financial miseries or take us away from the misery that we're living in. Someone was just posting on Facebook <clears throat> how financially you can be blessed but still unhappy and depressed because when you have that desire inside of you, and he's an artist, when you have that desire inside of you, you want it to manifest. It's not just, it's not, it's more than money. We expect our needs to be met because we follow the spiritual pathway and we expect to be abundant financially as well as in life. And an abundant life is not just money. It does include money. Some people try to take money out the equation. That's a lie. Because if you're need, you need money to have your physiological needs be met, your safety needs, your esteem needs, you need to be fruitful as it pertains to finances. But it's more than that. It's about living a purposeful, purposeful life, being the leader of the nation that you want it to be. Me being a leader in spirituality and writing and fruitful and abundant in everything that I do in business as an entrepreneur, teaching other people the pathway as well. So entrepreneurship to spirituality. So it's like living that purposeful life that you know inside of you that you're supposed to live. It's like we have desires in our heart. And attuning to those desires, it heightens on the spiritual path. It heightens when you take that leap of faith. So money can come in and that's wonderful and it's needed, but it's more than money. The Ace of Pentacles comes as long as you remain in the energy of peace. As long as you remain in the energy of faith. As long as you intend and create. Thank you. Didn't I say why don't it fall in my lap? This time, it fell in my lap. Thank you, Spirit. The Tower. Mm. And what's on the bottom of the deck when I pour that? The Fool. So it's like... This is two things. One, when you take that leap of faith, you start falling just like that. That's why you need a leap of faith. If you didn't fall, you wouldn't need a leap of faith. It's just, it's a very low risk. It's not a leap. But when you take that leap, you fall like that. And if you hit the ground, it hurts. But, but when you get back up, you take another leap. And you take another leap. One of those leaps, you're going to fly. So I think this is just basically saying this leap of faith results in you may feel like, um, like I said, I said I feel, I think in the beginning of this reading I was talking about failures. But it's like you fly. And when this blessing comes in, it changes your entire world. It changes everything. 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 Interesting. I'm going to pull up some numerology. Six of Pentacles. Now, you're not just giving. Now, it's balance between giving and receiving. You're not just giving. You're receiving, too. And you build. It's enough. You're receiving so much that so much that you can build. You can build. I can't wait to get in this energy. Like very eager to be in this energy. Sometimes I'm anxious, but I have to temper that. And yes, I'm eager to be in this building. I'm ready to build. I am ready to build. Spirit, do you hear me? I'm ready to build. God, do you hear me? I'm ready to build. So it's like Putting you, not only can you build, you can give too. Financially, you can, philanthropy. It's having so much that you build and you save and you can give. Did not just say your cup runneth over. And so, so much that you can use that to pour into others as well. 
Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Being connected with soul honoring connections. Being connected with your soul tribe. Being connected with your twin flame. Being connected with your soul mate. It brings that in too. It brings it all in. Finally. We've waited for so long. Something wants to show itself. The hangman won't been wanting to show itself. But to me, the hangman is resurrection energy. It's just like the calm after it's like the calm after the storm, kind of. With the tower in there, it's like the calm after the storm. And the hangman is also representative to me. It's like Jesus. It's like being one with your higher self, being one with God, being a vessel of God on earth. Didn't I tell you guys to look at gematrix.com? But you basically look up the, and I might include the link in my comments, but you look up the value of your name, and I looked up the value of my name, and it was like 1745 or something, but anyway, the manifestation of Jesus Christ, vast wealth, spiritual teachers, it was just like all this stuff, and I was like, wow. Being in alignment with who you were created to be, connected with your soul, this is Masculine and feminine energies, one. If you notice, that's the same person. Becoming one with yourself. And being abundant because of it. I feel like I just, I'm not even selling dreams. Like, I told Spirit, do not sell me no dreams. It is, you know, but the thing about it is, we have to keep the faith. And we have to let, stop letting things impede upon our faith. Because... We're safe, especially if you're on a spiritual path. Spirit has your back. God has your back. So I want to pull some numerology. Let's see what we get. Hmm, should I use the playing cards or the Uno cards? I usually use my Uno cards. I'm going to use my playing cards today. Something is, something is just leading me to the playing cards today. And... I, they're so I'm gonna use both decks I don't like to mix my decks so so I'm gonna pull from the blue first and then I'll pull for the red blue represents feminine energies red represents masculine energy to, um, today I saw I had a purchase in Walmart it was like 2262244 or something like that I don't know why I keep wanting to say 2266 so I'm gonna have to look up those numbers That's 1010. Well, not really. Two, two, four, four. That's four, four, four. Path of the chosen ones. Freedom, liber liberation. I don't have to look that up. Four, four, four is freedom and liberation. Three of wands. That's willpower. Ten of cups, fulfillment. So, with three of wands, it's telling, it's telling us, have the will to begin again. Because it's time to complete. It's time to be fulfilled. And the way that we're fulfilled is through our creations. So, Spirit is saying, have the will to begin again. To create. Nine of Pentacles, two of Swords. And guess what's on the bottom of this step as well? Three of Wands again. Three of Clubs. The will. This is all about will. Putting forth that effort to build wealth. Putting forth that effort to enter the next level, into the next phase. But I'm going to look up the number 29. You guys can see. So let's look up 29, which is 11. So, I know it's going to be about spiritual elevation, awakening, and completion and enlightenment. But entering that next phase of life, because we had the will to begin again. Because we didn't quit. Because we remained in faith. The first thing that popped up was 29 Gematria. Ooh. Check. On, on the Gematrics website that, I, that you use to calculate the Gematrical value of your name. 29, one of the words that came was check. <laughs> and with the Nine of Pentacles here, 
your will to create your creations lead in a check i love that let's look up bible will see what comes up there okay i don't relate so let's look up the numerology of 29. so far check is good enough to me a check having the will to begin again and receiving a check i'm good with that I got a check to do. I got a check. Mozzie got a song about checks, and that just came in my head. Amy and Mozzie. Um, but it says, Angel number 29 is a message from your angels telling you to trust in your own abilities when it comes to fulfilling your divine purpose. Angels' numbers communicate from the celestial realm, carry from your source to the physical world by your guardian angels. So basically, they're telling us to trust ourselves and our abilities. Makes sense with it being nine, which is the number of divine gifts and spirits, and to the number of union, to the number of service and balance. But trusting that we have what it takes to make it, we have what it takes to enter the next level. Have faith in yourself, believe in yourself. Believe. I'm going to save that. I'm going to use that as my um, thumbnail. But anyway, guys, so message of the day. If this is for you, it's time for you to create something. It's time for you to do whatever it is that you want in the desires of your heart to do. Spirit says you have what it takes. You have it in you to make it. You have everything in you to overcome this obstacle and, and create. The spirit of the Lord is with us. Our divine guides are with us. Continue to have faith. Intend and create. Shed old skin. Because it's time for us to leave the old and enter the new levels of life. And I'm I'm F-U-C-K-I-N-G ready for it. So believe in yourself. You got this. I wish you love, light, and more life. Visit AshleyGitter.com. If you want a reading about your purpose, it's 3333. Um, and... Just let me know the full, your first, middle, and last name. I'll do the calculation for your, the name of the geometric, geometric value of your name. And then I'll do a personal reading for you as it pertains to your purpose to lead you in the right direction. How to become one with the dualities of yourself. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. Visit AshleyGillard.com to order your master manifesto cheat sheet.